Death is like the wind, always by my side. What is up guys, today we are bringing you the first time Yon has been picked in Worlds. I'm trying to cover all the Worlds content because I think it's really hype right now. We can all agree, Worlds is the biggest event of the year. So anytime Yasu or Yon is picked, I want to do videos on them and I hope you guys enjoy them. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, let's get into it. Yon has been picked first time by DRX, which is Korean's 4th seed? Pretty sure it's 4th seed. And it's ISG, which I'm not exactly sure what region that's from, but it is a wildcard team. And they're 0-3 so far, so... Let me just lower this. We don't really need to hear it anyway. <clears throat> okay, so let's see when Yon gets picked. So, in competitive... Yon is almost always picked. Oh shit, I need to like move this. It's almost always picked as a counter. You never see like blind Yon. So if they blind Yon, they're probably just like egoing because they're way better than this team. Alright, usually when I do these reviews, I do it on two times speed. I think it's a lot better. Or we could do 1.5. Level's kind of fast. Yeah, they've been, they've been playing Maokai and Sejuani like every single game in the world. I had a sleeper, but it is what it is. Misfortune, another common pick. Probably the best AD carry in the game right now. Very, very overbuffed. Powering the Teemo again. I think this is the team that played Teemo earlier um, in this tournament. I'm actually seeing a lot of Aphelios this tournament, which is really weird. Did not see we would see that champion. I didn't think it was that good, but I guess I was wrong. Azir, very common blind pick mid laner, which is why they probably pick Yon. They probably pick Yon right here, right? Let's go into Azir, go into Maokai. Maybe they pick the Yon right here. Yep. See, it is only, only, only ever used as a counter. You never want to blind pick Yon. Just... That's why I think Yasuo Yon is really hard to get rank 1 on in solo queue because the champions just aren't that good. Uh, it's a blind pick, they're not. And you never see them blinded. So yeah, they see the Azir, Yon is very good into Azir, pretty free lane. Obviously the early game can be a bit annoying with the poke, but you should go D shields, like win, teleport. And yeah, you just get your items, counter free lane. what champions they pair up with Yon. I mean, they already have the Sejuani. Sejuani Yon, obviously a very good combo. Melee champ, stun, tank. That's what Yon likes, right? He needs a tank. He needs setup. He needs CC. He doesn't want to be the first one in. Being the first one in as Yon, as you all know, is just awful. Feels awful, awful, awful. We hate it. And a move, Dude, oh my god. If I could play Yon, if I could have a T that builds around me every game, I'd be so good. I love Diarchus comp, by the way. Yon with a Mumu Sejuani, such good synergy, and a Mumu MF is such a good lane. So, 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 so strong, man. I love it. Ew, dude, I hate ISG's comp. Diego Azir, Aphelios and MF, I just, ew. Does not look good. We've been seeing Alistar quite a bit in this tournament. I don't think that champ's very good, honestly. I don't know. I, mean, I guess it scales, but... Oh, wait, they picked Alistar without banning Silas. What? What? Oh, that's a grief. You never, ever, ever have Silas open when you pick Alistar, because giving Silas Alistar ult is so disgusting. Yeah, DRX's comp is just Thanos. Like, it, it's GG. It, I haven't watched the game yet, but I'm assuming DRX wins. Oh, their comp is- I love their comp. Their comp is so disgustingly good. What the hell? I love it.
I'll move the uh, the ducky thing if it's covering anything. I don't think it'll be covering anything. We'll see. Okay. Well, let's look at the runes. So, Yonman Tempo. Yep. Unflinching. I think the unflinching is kind of weird. I would go Overgrowth. I mean, I guess the unflinching just for Maokai. That's all he's really using it for. But I feel like losing like 100 health just for Tenacity for Maokai is kind of strange. But that's just me. Maybe it's fine. I mean, and the Viego stun, I guess. But, eh. I would opt for Overgrowth, I feel. But it's a little bit better. Ooh, a spirit. Spirit Boston? Yeah, Spirit Boston. My favorite Yon skin. Okay, the cheese. God, I hate him. Amu is so strong right now. Wait, he just flashed in, what? He just dead? Oh. He just flashed? Missed smite on red? And then died. <laughs> um. Interesting. Very interesting. That feels kind of bad. Oh, I think they're 0-3 for a reason. L-O-A. I don't know where- is that Latin America, maybe? I think it's Latin America. Maybe, we'll see. Well, we won't see. You guys will tell me, I don't know. <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh my god. Dude, that is so embarrassing. I guess he thought he wouldn't die. Because if he does get the spine and he gets level 2, he has enough health where he survives that, I'm pretty sure. Damn, Yon already taking a big trade, level 1, or level 3. This guy's already oom on his ear. Oh, the 3-man gank? Stun? Okay, interesting. Well, then he sees a lot for that, and he's just out of there. Completely fine. Yeah, I mean, that's the bad thing about Azir. Azir doesn't really have much follow up early on. Champ's very, very, very weak early. And yeah, you're only gonna see TP on Yon in uh, competitive. I think for solo queue, it's better taking Knight. Just because if you're taking TP, it's kind of like coin flip. We don't really see Silas top very much, but I think this game is just too good for it. I think it sounds pretty good into Maokai, no? Sounds very good. Maokai can never kill you. You just both sustain off each other 24-7. Oh, perfect back for Berserkers. Only thing, he didn't get refill pod, so he's still gonna get poked down a little bit, so he needs to watch out for that. He has TP though, he's probably not too scared. Easy kill. Is it two? It's two. Jesus. Already 3 0 for DRX. My god. Yeah, I think with Yon though, is that like we're probably not gonna see much action with Yon for a while. Just because of the nature of the champ. I really hope to see. I hope uh, teams play Yasuo eventually. I wanna see some Yasuo. That was very, very fun to watch. Ooh, training in the mid lane. I mean, the lane for Yon is just like Azir versus Yon. You just you both go even. You both go even, and then you don't really have prio for a bit. So Azir has prio on Yon for the first like 10, 15 minutes of the game. Ooh, oh, okay. I think they were gonna try to chain CC that. If they chain CC that, I think he actually dies. Maybe, maybe, big maybe. Good to go for, I guess. Not bad. Good look. But uh, yeah, so Azir just has Pryo on Yon for a while, until like 10-15 minutes, and then afterwards he gets like 
One to two items, Vamp Scepter, Zeal, or Vamp Scepter, Noon Quiver. Then he kind of takes over the lane. Because you kind of can't play at all. So. What do you want to do with Yonzi? Like, you want to push the lane and then go in your E to trade with him and then push the rest of the lane. Just so you get the lane in and you're getting a trade in at the same time. Feels really good. Because if you don't get the wave in and you just go for a trade with E, then your wave's kind of fucked. So, very important thing with Yon mid lane and Yon top, honestly. Just Yon in general. Okay, damn. What is that again? Sejuani so ult into Yon E ults. Third Q, just dead. Easy enough. God, playing Yon when you have CC chaps on your team just feels so good, man. It just feels so easy. Oh? Good flash. Good look by the Azir. I mean, getting his flash is worth every day of the week. Nine minutes in and he's already one and oh huge. <laughs> Moo do a little bit of trolling. I really am not a fan of Viego jungle. I think that champ kinda sucks. I never see it do very well. Uses E to get the plating, nice. Big fight. Wait, let me slow it down. I, I like slowing it down for the fights, but besides that. Okay. Oh, so it goes in. It's ulted. E ult. I think the E ult's fine. Azir just flashes it. He still gets one. I don't know who that is. Is that Viego? It's Viego. Oh. Nice. Let's call him Viego. Oh, he gets two. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I think he played that completely fine. Let's look at it one more time. Yeah, I mean, it's a two-man ult. So, like, even if Azir flashed it, at least he's still hitting one. So, that's perfectly fine. He almost stops him from, like, getting the body, too. That was a really good ult. I think it's a free little kill on it. Oh, let's start afterwards. Oh, does he go for this too? Ooh, went for it. He lands that, he probably dies. Alright, back to the 1.5. 3-0 Yon, yeah, I mean, that's probably GG. He could go Bork this game, or he could just go regular build. It really doesn't matter. I mean, both are completely fine. But since he's mid, it's probably better just to go regular build, because AoE team fighting is a lot better when you have crit instead of Bork, so... I think it's probably ideal. Yep, just went full-on shield bow. I like it. It's like you're already winning this hard anyway, so you may as well just go Shilbo IE. Go full on scaling, you know? I like it. <laughs> Ooh, he actually didn't get the plating there. Ah, that's the tilting part when you don't get super fed. He gets E third Q, just hit the whole thing, and you can't really do anything about it. You kind of just like, you know, wa just watch him. 
Because if you harass him, you just miss the whole wave, right? Oh, wow. He does not have to stay at all. Damn. Can we play that a little bit better? Do I have ult? She does. How does he get his ult off? He really gets the ult off there? Damn. I thought the E third Q was far enough, too. I think he was slightly not in max range of the third Q. So the guy landed before the ult went off and he got his ulti off. So a slight misplay. Because that shouldn't be able to happen if he doesn't max range. But I mean, it's whatever. I'm surprised he got that off, though. Did not seem like he should have. Oh, massive movement holy. God, you're just killing everyone, man. Four and oh. My god, and he gets first blood tower? Jesus. Yeah, this game's over, man. Also, I'm pretty sure, you guys can mistake me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time they picked Yon. Unless I missed something. But if not, then Yon is probably 1-0. Feels good, man. I actually had Yon being the highest win rate champ. Okay! Okay, let's see that again. Clean. Flash Q. Q flash. Yeah, I mean, Azir can't play the game against Yon after he gets shield, though. It's just not playable, man. Like, the way you have to verse Yon as Azir is just, you have to play with the early prio and then, like, try to do something when he's under tower before, like, first item. But if he gets first item, it's just dude. What the hell? You just take the full ult. <laughs> like, I got shit on. My god. Oh, he just got another kill. Ooh, but he threw it. That's not worth. Just gave a thousand shutdown. Azir has Conquer. Um, yeah, I think Conquer is the best thing you could go here. I mean, you could go first strike and just farm gold off the Yone, but then you're so much weaker in like team fights without Conquer. I'd go Conquer this game. But yeah, I, I don't know. I just love the Arx's comp so much. Like, it just does not seem losable. So much better. First game of Yon, 6 and 1. Well, boys, he might get nerfed. World's gonna get him nerfed. Nah, just kidding. I mean, it's DRX versus ISG. Korea versus Latin America. I think it's Latin America. Gonna have to see some uh, Yon in actual Worlds games, you know? Well, I don't want to discredit the teams. Like this, this is actual worlds, but you know what I mean. Like this is plans. He's not even gonna mess around with Zeal. So I think Zeal is a lot better in solo queue because a lot of fights happen early, and being like able to roam and like fight early is really really nice. But in competitive, you know that you're just gonna be like you have teammates that like. Or in comes like yo, just like wait for him to get my spike. So I think delaying your Shilbo IE spike for by a thousand gold is really bad and competitive. I think Zeal usually is just terrible. I really like the Shilbo IE rush. In competitive. In solo queue, I think Zeal is a lot better. But even that depends. You don't caught here? Good ulti to get out. Three positions. Seems like a hard fight. Oh, he eats back in. Nice. He put that really safe. He just ulted out, got his third Q, third Q'd out, and then eat back in. 
<laughs> Wait, I thought I was supposed to even there, I thought. I think he's just ulting out there because he's really scared Viego's just gonna like ult on him and kill him. Because if he loses the body, it's really scary and they can lose the whole fight over it. So I, I like the defensive ult. Only way they lose the fight is if um he dies to Viego and gives soul. Or gives his soul over whatever you want to call it. It was good. Oh, okay, we're back live. He just ults him. He's a kill. Shovel IE, and then it looks like he's going. No, he's going Death Dance. He's just sitting on a stopwatch. Yeah, I mean, game's over already, so stopwatch is just good. So you could, like, stop Viego getting a soul. That's the only lost con. But even then, like, it's, it's unlosable. Quite the stomp, boys. Quite the stomp. Oh my god, he just dies with a full ulti almost. Ooh, that Q bounce. Oh damn! Alright, in the game here. Ooh, the flash third Q doesn't kill him though. Does not kill him. Would he have killed him? He flash third Q. It was close. It was good to go for. <laughs> well, it's nothingness. I mean, to be fair, the plays that he's going for are good, but his team is just so strong and so good that, like, he doesn't even have to do anything. <laughs> I really like how he's, like, not, like, committing to the fight, and he's just, like, killing the minions first and getting his third Q then going in. Really good. Really safe. But yeah, there it is. Yone 1 0 in Worlds. He went 7 and 1. God damn. Obviously, this wasn't the most exciting game because DRX versus some wildcard team. Not to discredit them. But yeah, DRX is Korea. A lot better. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to cover more Worlds games, let me know in the comments below. Yasuo or Yone. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.